What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? So this is going to be my little five-minute rant about Ready to Love. So y'all know y'all going to get y'all regular review on Ready to Love, but I just got something I need to say about this episode of Ready to Love, okay? Listen, listen. I love you, nephew Tommy. I love the fact that you are doing this. This is great. You are showing black love. You know, it's a little bit of shenanigans, but at the end of the day, it's all gravy, baby. Here's my problem, though. <clears throat> I'm going to need y'all to do a better job of vetting the people that you are bringing on the show and find out what it is that they really like and what they don't like. What I, you know, as one BBW to another, Tessa, you my girl. I love how you carried yourself. I love how you handled yourself. And I love the fact that you was like, listen... The problem is I always end up being everybody's homegirl, everybody's sister, and not nobody's woman. And let me tell you something. I have had that same problem, that same experience, and I feel your pain. I know what you talked about, okay? We cool. We good for laughs and jokes and hee-hees and ha-has. And for some of us, we are even a fetish to men. And that's what she said. when, If y'all didn't catch what she said, when, uh, well, what she meant when she said that men will sleep with us, BBW she mean, but they don't want to marry us. See, that is what you call, they are fetishing, fetish, no, no, I'm just fetishizing, fetishizing us, okay? Turning us into a fetish, okay? There's this whole thing on BBWs of TikTok. You got to be careful about that because you have to, you listen to people and you hear what they're saying and it's like, wait a minute. Am I just like something to check off of your freaky to-do list? Okay? I'm listening to the guys last night and all of those guys thought Tessa was cool as fuck. But none of those guys were physically attracted to Tessa. And that makes me have to question and think about what types of, what are y'all putting on the application slash survey when you are bringing these people on? I, you're not going to sit here and tell me that you just randomly select 20 people. No, you select 20. 20 people that you think are going to have something in common. There's going to be something there. You know, we have Liz and Ron. They both have that very spiritual background. They hold that, that very spiritual um, 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 flat line right there. You got some people with kids, some people without kids. You have people in different age ranges and different weight walks in life. You are purposefully putting people together based on some sort of formula that y'all have come up with in the lab. And what I'm saying to you is this, I'm going to need y'all to come up with something because at the end of the day, for you to have all of those men and not one of those men are attracted to a BBW, that's not fair to Tessa. Because here's the reality, you have a right to like what you like. Not everybody is attracted to, to big girls. Not everybody's attracted to big women, I mean big men. Not everybody's attracted to skinny, short Old, young, blonde, brunette. We all have our preferences. That ain't even a problem. I ain't never going to be mad at a man who's honest about the fact that he's not attracted to a big woman. You know why? Because I ain't attracted to a big man. And I know y'all think that's crazy, coming from a big woman, that I'm not attracted to a big man. But guess what? I ain't. Now, being honest about it is a, it's fine. And I refuse to believe that... All of those men lied about the body type that they're attracted to. And I refuse to believe that y'all don't put that on the survey and ask. Because every dating site I've never been on, and I've been on some dating sites, all say the same thing. They ask you about preferences. Smoke or non-smoker? Do you like pets? Do you want kids? What is, your, what is your expectation? Describe yourself. Are you this? Are you that? Are you the other? They ask you those questions. And so I feel like I don't think it was purposefully done and I don't think it was done with any type of malice. But I do feel like y'all gave Tessa a raw deal and the way that whole situation went down. The fact that you got a room full of men that are like, hey, she cute and everything and she good people and I like her. Like I like her as a person. The fact that Joelle has such a hard time even having a conversation with her lets me know and the way she reacted hurt my heart because i felt her pain in that moment because at the end of the day you love who you are you and you're not ashamed of who you are but the fact that they're telling you you're not ready to love no 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 <laughs> uh -uh. yo she's ready to love y'all not ready to love her and with that being said i think i've said enough just a quick rant just had to let y'all know how i was feeling Y'all gonna get the full review a little bit later on, but this was just something that was on my mind. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Y'all agree? Y'all disagree? Y'all see my point of view? What's up? Talk to y'all later.